Hello, welcome to another session on square and square roots. In the first session, uh, we had learned about squares. And before moving on to the square roots, it is one thing which we need to uh, learn. Like when a number is given, how to find a Pythagorean triplet. Uh, it is informed that a Pythagorean triplet for any natural number m will be represented as 2m then it will be m square minus 1 and it's m square plus 1. Now if the question asks us to find, I will write down the question though. The question is write the Pythagorean triplet so there's any number I can take, um, the Pythagorean triplet, for which or whose one number will be given to you. Like one number is suppose 16 given. Now we have to imagine that the first number be 16. Suppose it becomes easy if we do so. So if 2m is equal to 16. So let's first find out what is m. m will then be 16 by 2 that's giving us 8. So now when m is 8, we can substitute that in m square minus 1 that becomes 8 square minus 1 that's 64 minus 1 that is 63. m square plus 1 that's 64 plus 1 that is 65. So the three numbers of the Pythagorean triplet, the first one was already given 16, found the second to be 63 and 65. You can always check this by, uh, you know, applying the Pythagorean uh, theorem uh, directly to this. Check if, see, this being the uh, largest number, we take that as the hypotenuse. So, you can see 65 square should be equal to the sum of the squares of other two numbers. That is 16 square plus 63 square. Apart from this, we now move on to learning to learning this um, square roots. The first one is by prime factorization method. I move on to another screen to find that out. Supposedly, uh, we take, we'll take one or two examples. I'm writing the question down. Here we are learning prime factorization fact factorization sorry they might have been a spell mistake factorization of numbers to find square root I'm just using the short form of square roots here yeah? what number do we take we can take one 1025 a big number though first you find the prime express this as a product of the prime factors of this number so let me do this rough work come down here we'll express it as a product of prime factors this was 1 1 0 to 5 I directly can take prime number to be 5 so if you divide 1 1 0 to 5 by 5 I'm getting 2 2 0 5 0 5 again that's divisible by 5 it will give us 4 4 1 and uh, now I think it's divisible by 3 because 4 plus 4 plus 1, 9, 3. Okay. If we divide it by 3, I'm getting 1, 4, 7. Again, that's divisible by 3. Adding them up gives me 12. Yes. So it's now 49. 49 is divisible by 7. So it's 7 and 7. So this 7 will give me a 1 down here. So when I express this, I will write it as 
फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू सेवन इंटू सेवन राइट Now what we do as because this is finding the square root, we will group the factors into pairs, pairs of the equal factors. That means for these two, we'll take uh, make a pair. For the two threes, we'll make a pair. For two seven, we will also make a pair. So taking one factor for each of these pairs, we have three factors, three pairs. Sorry, for each pair, we'll take one factor. For both the fives, we'll take one five. Multiplied for both the threes, we'll take three, one threes, and then it is another seven. That's giving me like five into three into eleven fifteen seven one zero five. So square root of one one zero two five will be one zero five. We can do another um, number. I can take up a number directly. Write it here. Mm, let us take a big one. Two nine eight double one six. Again, follow the same method of finding or expressing this as a product of prime factors. I'll write the number here. It is two nine eight one one six. Take a bigger number. If I take this as divisible by two, we can take. If I'm dividing two nine eight double one six by two, I'm getting one four eight sixteen, and it is. Zero five eight. Again, that's divisible by two. So it's seven three zero. Am I doing it right? One four. Um. Oh, I made a mistake. I think here it is two nine eight double one six divided by two is giving me one zero not six. It's one four nine zero five eight. And then if I'm dividing it, it's giving me seven four. I'll be getting right. Yeah, I'm getting seven four five two nine. That's not divisible by two anymore. So let's by three eight nine ten eleven twenty twenty seven. Right. I added the digits to take if this is divisible by three. I see it's divisible by three. Dividing it by three will give me seven. It's two four eight four three. Two four eight four three. Oh my God! It's over here. Two four eight four three. Again, I think that's divisible by three. Yeah, it's divisible by three. I'm getting eight two eight one. Again, it is nine ten. Oh, it's not anymore divisible by three. Let me try with seven. If I divide it by seven, I'm getting yes one one eight three. Again, that's divisible by seven. You know, because we are asked to find the square root, and um, that seems um, it, it's you know we know that there will be pairs of each number. I'm getting one sixty nine that I know is the square of thirteen, so it is divisible by thirteen. And now let us express it as a product of all these factors. So it is two into two into. Three into three into seven into seven into thirteen into thirteen. For each of them, we'll make pairs as we did for the previous question. This two, this two, this two, and this two. That's giving us. If for each of them again, we'll take one for a, at a time. And then I can see it comes down to this. Now, if I multiply 
2 into sorry 2 into 3 into 7 into 13 I'm getting it as 546 so this number 298116 was a square root of 500 oh, sorry it was a square of 546 we now move on to other questions based on this I move on to the other screen. Do not down. I'll write down the question here. It says the product, oh sorry, the product of two numbers is 1575 and their quotient is 9 by 7. We have to find the numbers. Let us take the number to be A. What does this mean? It means A and the other number, the product of two numbers is 1 this is another number is giving us 1575 five, right that means if I am dividing 1575 five by A because the quotient is 9 by 7 so if I am doing so this is giving 1575 five by A gives me 9 by 7 no it doesn't say so no, this is not the two numbers. One number is A, not the other number. I'm making some mistake here. Let me think. Okay, it informs if the other two number. Okay, then this other number, this box which I have left, if one number I have taken A, the other number will be 1575 five by A. Because if you see A is the first number, then if you product, multiply this, you will get 1575. Five. So the two numbers become, one is A, the other is 1575 five by A. Now it says you divide these two numbers and you get a question to be 9 by A. Suppose, now this being the bigger number I am taking, so it is A divided by 1575 five by A gives us a quotient of 9 by 7. This is our equation. Now if we do so, express it as a multiplied to this. We have to find the numbers. So let us first find a. This is giving us a square is equal to 9 into 1575 by 7. I think 1575 will be divisible by 7. Yes. This if I cancel is giving me 225. So 225 multiplied by 9 gives us 2025. A squared gives us is 2025. So what about A? A will be square root of 2025. So we have to find this prime factorization of 2025 to get A. Uh, if I do so, I can express A directly here in terms of, see 2025 will be divisible by 5, that will give me 1405. I'm directly writing it. 405, that's again divisible and that's giving me 81 that's divisible by 3 that's giving me 27 again so 27 will also be divisible by 3 so that is this i think is the expression for 2025 so if i find and make it pairs for uh, one number for each of these pairs so it is 5 into 3 into 3 it is 15, um, 15 into 345. So the one number which we had assumed A is 45. We also have to find the other number because it says find the numbers. 
the other number will be 1575 by a that is 45 and if I do so I am getting it as 35 so the two numbers were 45 and 35 hope you followed we'll take more questions on square roots in the next few sessions thank you